Welcome back to another episode of the Cascade Mountaineers Realistic Dynasty. We have a big matchup against the Nevada Wolfpack this week. It's not big because of our opponent, it is big because of the recruits we have on campus. Pretty much every single player that I set about making a uh, priority at the start of the year is coming in uh, to give us a look this week. As you see there, we got Will Watson, Terrence Lee, O.C. Lowry, Kyle Mole, Eddie Henry, Deonta Adams, and Garrett Humphreys coming in this week. Let's check out what we need to do to get them to commit to the squad. First up, 250 passing yards and beat a higher ranked team. I think every team is ranked higher than us, so we'll take it. That'll get us uh, 790 extra points. Will Watson projecting as, as my cat jumps up here. Toss him back down on the floor. Four swatted passes, two interceptions. Uh, we're probably only going to get 490 out of that one, considering our inability to actually uh, catch interceptions. But nice to get the higher ranked team. Uh, rushed for over 100 yards for Garrett Humphreys, the running back. And then our offensive line, 100 yards rushing, 250 yards passing. I guess Tar Tanner Trainer doesn't consider Nevada. Oh, never mind. He's not visiting this week. He's visiting in a couple weeks. I believe it is against North Dakota State that he's visiting. Uh, everyone else is visiting this week, week six. Yep. All right. Cat jumps up here again. All right, I, I think we can. I think we can get at least Mole to commit. He's pretty interested. I think we shouldn't have any issue getting 250. The running backs, I think we'll be able to get that one taken care of. We haven't had a ton of problems uh, getting to 100 yards as a team. It's uh, as an individual, Edmund Chandler has struggled to get 100 yards. All three stars, I believe. Might have a couple one and two stars in there. But anything is better than the current players we have on the roster, if I'm being honest. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm game. Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show two and presented and by Nissan. Open, open Innovation that excites. Some action. might say this is simply a vanilla matchup, but you never know when somebody might have a little chocolate that rush sauce offense, stashed though. away to give it a little bit more flavor. And, from the country. You know what? Only 11 Why not break out the oldest sportscaster cliche in the book? Looks like Nevada. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA strong. college football are pregame getting show. Down through the now let's air. send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. I like we'll our ability to cover the pass. I feel like we can do that well enough. As we saw during the bye week episode, flat seventh in the country in sacks. So we're getting to the quarterback spot. Uh, I think it's our ability to defend the rush that we struggle with. So we'll get into it here. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste. Nice line to the grass by the groundskeeping crew here at Cascade University. Mahana. And what Frosty? Is that Frosty? Frost. Not Scott Frost. But Frost. We're gonna go ahead and kick. Had a couple of couple instances where we haven't scored on our first drive this, this we'll season. See how this game plays and it's cost out as they get us ready for the opening kick for half. So we're gonna go ahead and kick the ball and he got it's all all of this one. Do, Great kick. Uh, but I just feel like it's probably better for He's us to the do that right now. He's tackling. That's the 27. Nevada staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I hope he plays I think their staff's the got him ready to prove him wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've this done a great job right of doing there. that. He's now they just have to go out and execute the play. Mini games. In this game. So he's having Dumps a pretty good to the year, actually. Over the middle. He's taken Almost down got the at about there. 31. Four yards gain. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. 
Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. I've both sides of the ball, I should have played. I think I might get them into some packages. And he's out of bounds at the 42-yard line. It always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. B speed, so we'll have to see what it ultimately ends up From the 42-yard line, first but down. I think that they could be pretty good in coverage and eventually blitz him. Missed the, he might have a chance. Missed the tackle for loss there. You talk Missed about the a dual threat guy. This guy second can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Still our vice. Quality, sure tackling, but still the vice, despite having two players in the top five and solo tackles in the country. Looks middle, got his back, and down he goes at about the 27 yard line. Patrickson can't catch, but apparently he can tackle. Second down and six. Ball on the 27. Makes it to the 17. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. That is a top first drive on defense. They just kind of went up and down the field. That's a positive an issue. for the passing game. It was absolutely the not, right call in that situation. It's uh, not going to give you hope for the, the rest of the game. So the booth is trying to determine exactly yeah, where they'll spot the ball. Really so it. they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. Yeah, he's. His entire upper half is in the end zone. I, I, that's a touchdown. That is a touchdown, no problem. It's gonna be the best look right here. It's angled though, it's not straight on. I think he was in. Let's see After, After review, review of the play, play, the ruling on the field, field is reversed. reversed. Okay. So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football again. Move like a half yard back. You guys see that spot? They come out in a goal line okay, set. No, it's on the inch line. It looked like the ball was spotted like the one and a half yard line. And he's tackled nice around play. the three yard line. Well, this is the kind of play Defender you want on the to outside see here. Because not only is it a right negative play, but this can really guy, impact the this game. Just looking down, directly looking at the looking energy the on the field, and but even on the sideline, you can see that the defense manages to prevent any further progress and, and get the uh, get the runner down. Any sort of next play, no problem. Go with two up. Some good names in that list. All name conference. He makes the PAT. Oh, it looks like that nice seven boot play, too. 57 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. The score now. 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He does. He does have to do it. He's to the 20. At the 30. Down the sideline. He, he has some guys. roof. He cannot. And they finally push Great him out at the 10-yard line. Great return. Great start. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Wow. Straight ahead. All right. The game Love following up the great return. Well, the defensive line blocking. got such a good push up front that there that was, was no one on the offense to count for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. Up and over. I don't know if he got in on that one. They don't want to review the spot on that one, but we'll take the touchdown there for Henrys as he caps off the drive. The he started off with a good return. They're not going to review it. Newton just gets absolutely taken out by the feet. 
Uh, but it's a, it's a quick, quick answer by Cascade. They line up to kick this one away. And, uh, maybe, maybe he's choosing to kick to start the game is the he way to go moving forward. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24 yard line. Once they start making breaking tackles on the return, I get nervous, but glad to, glad to get them on the ground. Pretty there. good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Yeah, it was. I didn't really have to do anything. There we go. Nice sack. Nice sack. Isaac Wiseman with the, with the ankle pick sack on Carson Strong. So nice to make the play starts to drive after they just methodically carved our defense in the last drive. Looking like Parker Crown with that throw, Carson Chief. Odds they run a slip screen and we pick it up right in the end. Run a slip screen. Come on, Riley, you won't. And Carson and Strong to bring on the punt team. misses the on two throws really on that drive after a sack. We're going to get the, the ball was back. Very well defended. Chance to take the lead after it. Now the the fourth down in a punt. Dion after pulling the punt very quickly in the, in the first drive under that. Get that block. And he has it on the corner. He's at the oh, 30, nice and he's nice. taken down at the 24. Might be the most important player on the team, but only this because of what he game, does. And I think we're going to see a lot of interesting teams. football before it's over. I have mentioned in the past how difficult it has been to get him involved on, on offense. Last game sprung him open a couple of times. And they go back and he's hit no blocks in the backfield. Back well, that's just a good call the from the defensive side of the football. This game. They know what this team likes to run. They got the better of them that time. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 26. Just try to straight ahead run. Two, can get here. And they make the stop around the 24-yard line. Got nothing going. Center blocks on his feet. Ball's coming out quick. Ready! I thought I was going to get Hendricks over the top with that safety drop back and cover up the line. He comes open on these. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 11 yard line, it's first down. The longest run of the day. Chandler picks up about four yards on the play. Can't complain. Can't complain with the longest run of the day for four yards. That run was more yards than he has on the game. Right down at the five yard line. Tosses the defender forward. Let's see if we set up my favorite. My favorite about play. Four yards Actually, away here on that. third down. I want to save it for later. See if we can hit Rollins on the drag route here. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown. We're getting good field position, but it's not really going to be very helpful and he in getting those point. those uh, <laughs> recruiting requirements to get those points. When all of them just line their yards, the except for I guess Will Watson's, but all of them depend on yards, and we can't Since get any yards. Since it's sailing downfield, maybe if one of them wanted to be a kick returner, he's to the he'd twenty. Be doing great on that requirement right now. Can't wrap him up. He gets out to about the nice eighteen yard line. Who's that? Eighty-one Lee, the wide receiver. Maybe we need to get him on the defense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's up the he's a good year. Five sacks on the season now. He really fought to get to the quarterback that 
that time. He's certainly shown that he can it's get it done on a week to week basis. Defense looking for another sack on this second down and long situation. And he just gets rid of it. Carson's strong drive. Like I'm calling it a He's been sacked twice now. Is just to throw the and ball then he missed three, three right throws there. in very a row. Because Next of time he should just throw it away absolutely out of rattled. He's not ready for the lead. He throws. I mean, got down. it. Complete Here's my smack pass. talk. Drops dime. Singh just running in quicksand, apparently. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own. They really seemed like the route beat him. Just kind of. He just was too slow. This oh, cool. Ball incomplete. That needs to be a by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That makes it second and 10. I'm going to keep dropping as many guys in coverage as possible, and we're playing man. Zone doesn't work in this game. I don't even feel bad about it. And he hits a coverage hard. sack right there. That's why, that's why you he dropped just blew past the coverage. blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move the chains again. Throws it to the outside. Nice the coverage, and it's intercepted. Tackle around the 40. Out of baby. Hey, one more, one more interception. We get that. Uh, and the quarterback just can't believe get that. it. He really wishes Will he could have that performance one back. Boost, Every quarterback so has passes that he wishes he could have back. back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. You dang right, a pick is a pick. You dang right. Hands it to the back. All right. Tackle You're supposed made to block around the 41-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Try to run a stretch play, even though I said last game I'm never running. From the 41 yard line. Second down. Here we go. They'll bring him down at about the 39 yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the, the carry. ground. The, <laughs> the rushing attack is just not there today. Seven carries for eight yards. That's major yikes. Here comes the pressure. Perfect on the money throw. Perfect on the money throw. Perfect on the money throw. The tight end picks up a lot of yards. having another exceptional first quarter. This is the first quarter of the quarter. We bench him after the first quarter ends. So to extend this lead. That's up the stat line. New longest run of the day for Edmund Chandler, five yards. With five yards on the carry. So after one quarter of play, can it continue to be this high scoring? 14-7, Mountaineers. Is that high scoring? I don't know. I don't think it doesn't feel high scoring to me. Where's the setup play? No, we're not running that. So. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Here we go. Another blocking line. clinic well, by the Mountaineers say there. The defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. This is a big play for the offense that can put him up by two scores. It's third down from the four. And he's taken down. He had a shoulder the burst there, Edmund. I mean, he had the hole. Blocking was there. That was on you, my guy. He gets it up. Good shot field goal, goal there. We'll take it. What a love, what a love six there, but Edmund Chandler did not seem like to play today. He got his first 100 yard game last, or two weeks ago. Last week was a bye week. And uh, I guess now he's taking this week off. Bell from the three. Tackle at the 28. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He's going left. Oh, there we go. That's the Will Watson. 
That is the Will Watson performance boost with the second interception of the day. Carson Strong, bench him. He's not ready. He's rattled. He got sacked. Isaac Wisner sacks him. Rattles him. He's not ready. Lights are too bright in the middle of the day at Okanogan Pin Pinochet. Pinch it. Pinch it. First down, no 10 to, to go. Ball on the 39. I named the stadium. I have no idea how to say it. He has some room. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. Longest run of the day, of course, is going to go to Parker Cron, the 77 speed quarterback. That just makes complete sense. Gains about four yards on the play. The story of the tortoise in the hair. I think Edmund Chandler would play that. Second and six. Ball on the 15 yard line. Slow and steady. Wins the race. Short and plodding. And he makes it out to about the 14 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. He was playing the run all the way shell. and was able to stop him. Chandler quickly. has no pen. Good job by that senior safety. He gets set up. 1.6 yards per carry. Run up the middle. Not quite sure how the tackle was Yeah, this is a really good effort here, on both uh, sides of the ball. Tough run gonna, by the offense and great tackling by the defense. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He's taken down. Rollins could be the three yard line. Rollins. He's up about seven on the play and the completion is also good for a first down. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. The quarterback's looking very sharp on this drive. And he's in the end zone. From a kid, touchdown. Oh, third string running back, first string. Fullback for the touchdown there. We're up three scores. Easily the biggest lead cascade ever held. Had a couple two score leads. Flew a two score lead with Boise State. Play, the lead we ended up winning by two scores. And Brad, right over now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big runs. The, the kicker play. looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. Okay. Brought down. How do we do that? How do we do that? Coaching staff, I think Kirk at halftime, they've got to pull this kid over in the corner and let some of the coaches take care of the rest of the group and sit him down and say, what is going on? Well, I think he's that important to this offense. They know for them to be able to come back and win this game in the second half, the only chance they have is to be able to get their quarterback, kind of their, their go-to guy. Wyoming, beat Wyoming. Make sure he That's has right. the right mindset and make sure he still has the confidence to be able to lead this team in the second half to be able to win this game. Because if he's not right, they have no shot at winning the game. the 37. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. Two consecutive We've got first and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. He's had been sacked a couple times, though, so I give him a slight pass to that. Let's it go. Nice grab on the Play. Oh, and he's tackled at the 34. Good coverage. The but gets a chance too much to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. He doesn't disappoint. Little backyard Great stand lot. Get the receiver on a broken play. Always hate to give up the, uh, the big game on those. Oh. Dumps it complete over the middle. I read it. I just had the wrong angle. I got blocked. Yard line. That play was going nowhere. Uh, yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing the pass and swarming to the receiver. From the 32-yard line. Second down. Nice read by Wyatt. And he makes it to the run the 31 Stops the counter play. And he gets a yard on the run. Not much gained on that play because his safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making Absolutely. a good tackle He's on the ball carry. It's probably his best game. Oh, 
a flat totally bailed me out. I saw another slip screen trying to jump it. It was not. I was way out of position. And that's his sixth sack of the season. Second of the game. He's over. Oh, they're punting. He's going to go sailing out of the back of the end zone. No way I field this one. They'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Yeah, there was going to be no way. No way you field that one. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. I will just go for a field ball on that one, honestly. Oh, kill Hill. This is the block on the line. You hate to see that one. Second down and six. Ball on the 24 yard line. 10 yard gain. First down. Gets to about the 24 yard line. Let's try a slip screen of our own. See if we can get him to bite on it. Here's the half back on the screen. And they make the stop at the 42 yard line. It's interesting call here by the offensive coordinator to go with the screen pass. It picks up the first down and gets the defense again. Another thing to think about to slow them down maybe later in the game with their pass. Kron is having a good game. First and two. Great game, even. Ball but on the 42 I think yard line. It's because of how little. And off, and he's met in the backfield. If these defenders continue and exploit the O line like that, many, it's going to be a long day for this running back. He's had losses as he has had gains, it seems. Kron's having a good game, and with how poorly it's going for Chandler, you'd think I'd want to pass, but I think he's doing well at quarterback because of how little I'm asking him to do. Nice run, and he's brought down. New longest rush for Edmund Chandler, six yards. We are getting towards the end of the half. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Trying to keep things vanilla. Is there are five wide saying. receivers split out. The quarterback you in can't the mess gun. It up if it's vanilla. Throws it in a hurry. He's oh, he makes a nice move. 48. About three Isn't able to get that the, time on the screen. Get to the yard Just took their first time out. Punt this one away. First drive to end in a punt this game. And we're going to have a chance to, to pin the Wolfpack deep. And it goes into the end zone, down, down, down for a touchback. A nice one to down right at the one yard line, but gonna be a touchback. They have an amazing Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before yards. we even hit the half. These next few drives are gonna go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And a quick throw, brought down at the 39. Yards. Weisner got beat. He was headed upfield already. It was an out route. That's a, that's a man coverage beating route right there. He's under pressure. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle Not sure why he the 42 yard line by Winchester. Nevada is going to have to use their Coming second time the out of the Strong was stumbling around in the backfield, but uh, slight gain, three yard gain for the quarterback. Another pick, that's pick number three. No problem. That offensive lineman's got a good angle. Oh, and just an ankle picks up. McKeerman with the, the second pick of the day. Jim McKeerman, now he's leading the team. I understand you're down a couple of scores and you're or trying to get to back team, into the game, sure. but you can't get it all oh. back at once. You've got to be patient, the, uh, take your time, uh, and methodically Svealgia. work yourself back as a team uh, back into this game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. 
Next week's another bye week, so we'll check the stats again, and we'll add up uh, some of the money that the team has made and they got them from the balls. early going. And well, see you if we can find some new helmets for the shots from the squad, get some sleeves before we get into the backfield. colder this season guy here just in flies all over the field. Let's go, Deep. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Oh, They'll bring him okay. down at the one. The Mountaineers taking their first time out of the half. That one should have been a touchdown. I ran in my own guy. It's third and goal. One yard Carter to the goal Crum line. Carter leading the team with, in rushing with only two carries for 30 yards. It's a brutal stat. Chandler gets his first touchdown of the day. He's not at the 30 yards lot yet. What's that? that is great about tough football 73 right there. Yards Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Would love that to be by him. And he adds an extra this point. This is a blow. We're having no problem with this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Did not expect this after that first drive, in which Nevada just marched down the field without issue. And toward He's to the 20. But three turnovers, three interceptions. And for Strong, it's been one of those days he'd like to forget. Well, this is a defensive best opportunity to show what they can do to be able to dominate once the football. Once a team is making and, and if you're us look offense, like you might be able to move the ball, but if you're turning the ball over, like if you're out. having sacks on every other play, play, you just can't right. move the ball effectively. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He's in trouble. Yep. Steps up there's a the sack. And they've got it. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset four on the sacks horizon. Four sacks on Carson Strong in the first time, three with a 24 -point Cascades lead. up 31-7. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down really in the first had no 30 minutes. That first Neither drive. ground game very productive Probably in that first half, David, and I really think you over came 50 down to of their production each player of on the, the defensive entire side first executing half their assignments and drive. trying to get the positive self-determination that they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do. Cascade and we gets welcome the you back to the action the half, here. Just about chance set, to go off by it. He kicks it off, and he got 31. all of that one. He's to the 10. Five scores. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. I guess four if you go for two every single time. So we're just about ready to return to action. He makes it out. Maybe the 26 yard line. Figure out what's going on. Gonna turn on run clock with the uh, with the game well in hand. From their own 26 yard line. Uh, it's second down. As much clock as possible. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. Let's try a triple option here. We're, just, we're getting nothing with these handoffs. Trying to go straight ahead with it. It's worked in the past, but not getting any blocks. After a little bit more speed. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. For another triple Fourth down, here. and the go offense is still on the field. Never mind. I gotta tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't gonna just punt this ball away. Throws in a hurry. Yeah, pressure. Incomplete, the pressure and they'll turn it over. If they punted, they would have pushed them back pretty far. Now, didn't get the release off the line down, we needed. They've given Ron a pretty just decent field a position. Prayer. Not a great gamble by going for it. Yeah, and while I disagree with the call, I've got to admire the tenacity of this coach. He'll do just We've about anything from to some win. Good field There's got to be some half, sense of urgency to this offense second. right now. They don't have a luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's wrapped up for the second. Good way to start flat with his third second today. 
the goal revolving the door at right tackle, I guess. Long situation. I have to bump up the sliders there. He keeps having as much success as he is. He makes the catch and has a first down. They don't need help. He's got a bounce at the 10 yard line. They don't need help. Throws it away. Great yeah, shot by the defense and getting after that out of quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second and ten. Ball on the ten-yard line. And he's taken so down at the fourteen-yard line. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. Weisner had that and on one. that tackle, he Rattle. showed you why that's the case. Tackle at the one yard line. I thought he was going to go yards. There's no way they're going for this field. Goal. It's fourth Come down. On. They'll line up for the field goal. No and way. This is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away and it puts the uprights. You need the points there if you're Nevada. You need to go for a touchdown. Field goal's not doing anything for you right now. Let's see if they decide to kick it to him Absolutely again. Absolutely wild decision. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive. But I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt. And Their defensive line, their front seven is clearly the strength of this team. Because we have just had nothing, has learned from nothing some of his mistakes in the past. From their own 22 yard line. Sanity, but I'm not second going away. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. The we back gets three on the carry. One yards. thing about this linebacker the over yards. the years that separates him from the still rest are his yards. instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Check, 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 check. Regular, regular, regular. Here we go. Got through. They looked a little sluggish on that series. On that I'm curious to see if they pick things up when First they get the ball back. Kron is not second half Kron. We learned that last week. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Signals for a fair catch. Well, that's what it's all about for these guys. If you can turn up the pressure, you'll create more chances for your defense. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 44-yard line, it's well, first down. it's a good thing we built as big a lead as we did in the first half, because apparently nothing is going to go our way in the second half here. Instead of standing the above putting their team to hit our team, my team is just dead. We just used all of our energy in that first half. I'm falling into that trap that every coach does that is getting too conservative in the second half. Slings it and down he goes at the 36 yard line. Too vanilla, too conservative. We're just gonna blitz him. We're gonna blitz. It's we rattle him with a, Ball with a the sack in, line. in the first half. We're gonna do it again in the second half. Make this guy see Gills. He still didn't quite get there. But yard we, 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 we hit him. Up about five he yards on that hookup. Quarterback Curry, absolutely. Splits him up the middle. Now 
And he might want it all here and does. What a pick. That's now Daniel four extra pressure. possessions they've given their own offense with these picks. Think about that. That's, his That's a formula that'll guys. win you a lot he of ball picks games. In the first game against, against Washington. Kyle made that a game for the second half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. We're on the play action pass here. See if we can't get something going on. There's not a tight end incomplete. Probably why he dropped it. Not who I threw it to. Where's my read option in this playbook? There we go. Yeah, I knew there was a it's second and there ten. Was a read option the yard in line. formation. Brought down yeah. after a nice run up the middle. We'll like the first down there, but we will take a, we'll take a game. Got to convert here to avoid three straight three and outs. Nevada's fortunately not doing much. With. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. I just don't know. Really, they just keep reading it perfectly. Like he had the hole, and then all of a sudden. Strong safety comes in, makes the exact play he needed to. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. Call we'll have to see we now how the offense boys. responds this time after let's throwing a pick on their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. Him, so these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That might be the last play of this quarter. We'll see. I think he'll probably get almost way off. Second down and seven coming up we here. We are technically blitzing. All on their own 42. Since we did last time. He throws it. Almost throws another stick. Holy guys, he You drops. don't want to ever give your opponent it's a, a second, second deflection. chance. We're getting close that's to that. That's exactly what they did DB by not making that interception. performance boost for Will Watson here. That'd be huge. Unexpected and, and huge. We might already have it, honestly. I'm not quite sure where we're at with the play. Fires quick after the receiver and he can't make the grab. I'd love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Dion, it's a punt. Probably secure the... That requirement. Fielded at the 19. He's out to the 30. Oh, a nice return. He's to the 40. The 50. And he's shoved out of bounds. I think he's going to get pushed out of bounds by Connor. That has done everything ankle, right uh, in this football game at least tackle. to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. Oh. Kirk, we're thinking Back about more than very this very pivotal fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they yeah, make the stop at the about the 37-yard line. Browns only got 89 yards passing. The rushing one's gettable. Second down and seven. Ball on the 37. Haven't all day. Pitch out, got the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. Maybe, maybe should have done a spin move there instead of a back view. Should have been a touchdown. Absolutely disappointed. QB power for the first down. Just keep milking the clock, I guess. Strong play by the Lord defense, but they'll come up just shy of the stop. The first down. Right. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. the 25 yard line one of his, like, Chandler gets three yards on the longest ball. runs the day twice as average and he got it because of the animation this is brutal I'm not even sure I'm, I'm not sure if it's blocking or not I the blocking hasn't been good the, the misdirection the play gets some four yards that's 100 yards on the day so we got that one I guess now we can focus on getting the uh, the boost for the wide receivers we brought in. And here's another third down. 250 in the last five minutes of the game here. Fakes to the back. Brought down around the 20 yard line. That's a game. All right, I guess we're getting our kicker some confidence. He gets it up, and the field goal is go. good. Nice. nice kick. Yeah, it was 30 yards. We'll they line up to sports, kick this one away. In the second half. Might have just this one out of bounds. He'll return it from the three. At the 30. Brought down at the 34. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver. Yeah, that's a good this guy's man got it. beating route. Doesn't matter. From the 46 yard the line. First down. Oh. He can't do it. pass, but he can't hang on to the ball. We hit the pick, but we broke it up. I guess you don't want to play the Cascade Mountaineers off the bye. Just eat a leaf off the bye. I'm on Scott Frost. Anti Scott Frost. Strike to his receiver. No good. Probably got that toe in bounds. Not more. Might want to look at that one. Third down now, and they need to get Fair it down to the 36. I would have challenged that one. I think he definitely got his feet on. And offensive line the only, have a really only tackles he has are sacks. A quarterback should take care of his offensive line. But after that, you're going all out and that going for hit, it. Really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive line have after that. Screen pass. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. And for Platt, he isn't far from the single game sack record. Yeah, well, that was a stupid decision. Why would you run a screen pass on that? Are you kidding me? Oh, the offense gets ball. set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. And here's a quick throw. Nice grab on the play. He's all the way home. Touchdown. As many touchdowns as an inclusion for Parker Crown. Catch and a he big touchdown for the tight end. I'll tell you, this tight end is a big time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field. But he matter. has the type of game to back it up. It doesn't always seem like he just finds a way to get open. And he adds the extra points. Here's an update from the studio and Reesdick. Time to enter Maxburg. The Fighting Irish holds the field and wins by nine. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. The is still and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. They did not refuse to Cincinnati if they didn't know that. They're slammed. Bell fields it at the one. He's to the 20. 
Ooh, nice play by Jack. And a bat to 25 yard line. And for Platt, he's been all over the field for this defense. Yeah, he can't break he really has, Brad. I'm just amazed with his ability to swarm to the football on almost every single play. I think it has a lot to do with the way they're pressuring the quarterback. They're just doing a great job as a unit and not allowing this quarterback to get into any rhythm. That pocket was flat. Carson Strong can't tap. Second down, 10 to go. Honestly, he's lucky he didn't get to have this game in real life. If he did, that would be trouble. No team would want to take a chance on him after this. Throws this one out to the right. And he's knocked down immediately he's after the catch. He's just jumping on the floor in the 15th minutes in the rest of the season. That game was brutal for Wyoming. Just under three to go in regulation. There's no way Josh Allen got drafted after that. It wasn't even a good coverage defense. He's in trouble. He zips it out to the right. Incomplete. Ooh, that should have been a pick for sure. We'll take the swat though. That makes it second and ten. From their own 49 yard line. Shaw win. Second down. Shaw win. Shaw win. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 50 yard line. An animation for a face mask there. I got nervous. I had to check real quick to see if there was a play. They'll bring him down around the 38 yard line. Lame. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. It's always the last drive of the game. Just getting all their stat patent stats. Oh, oh, quickly, and that was almost well, that's big. definitely four deflections in this game. That's four deflections in this game. So got everything that Will Watson wanted to see out of us. So that's nice. Probably gonna lock up his commitment now. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Nice job. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. I know I'd have lost on the route. And then... First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. By a change of direction, not even a move. And he tackles Platt. him hard at the 36. And for Platt, he's equal the NCAA record for most sacks in a single game. Please do not break the actual record. That's not realistic. We're at play number nine of this current drive. A little over a minute in the game. Good to see Cascade isn't the only school with a revolving door for an offensive line. Rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much That's better a job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run there. Rose. It's caught uh, first out of down and he's out of bounds. No way he drove the towel. That. They call it a Thank catch, you. but the boots signal down to the referee. There's no way. They'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Guys, miles out of bounds. Come on now. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. What? So after some discussion, miles out of the call on the field stands. Are you kidding me? From the 15-yard line. First down. We gotta pay off the refs. Not enough, apparently. And they get the sack. And for Platt, he's recorded more sacks today than anybody else ever has in one game. Nevada sure. is gonna use yes. their first time out of the half here. He's got 11 this is the on the season now. Of this drive. Man's unconscious. It's intercepted, and, and that should do it. Just broken tackle. Just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. Can you imagine that walk the, over the sideline for these the, guys? 
from their own 25 yard line. Yards, it's first down. Mark that we need. So I'm not even try for it. That's a great tackle at the 27. A two yard run by the halfback. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. All right, that'll do it. That's win number two. Game number five, two and three on the season. Absolute blowout of the Nevada Wolfpack, 41 to 10. Parker Cron throws three touchdown passes. And Edmund Chandler gets two. One touchdown run. Caleb Hill gets a touchdown run. Maybe it might have been four touchdown passes for, for Cron. I think he's got to be player of the game. If not, it's going to be a defender with two interceptions. Mercy, this one is over. So the Mountaineers, two. 41, the Wolfpack. Flat, 10. yes, flat. That one should have been obvious. Seven That's sacks, three teams to the record. NCAA He's got 11 14. on the season now. Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Zessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. We'll take a look at the final stats. Check out Parker Karan's QB rating. Has to be the highest of the season yet. Over 200 in the last game with two picks. So, got to think. 256.6, I believe that is a perfect quarterback rating. One uh, rushing touchdown for Caleb Hill. One rushing touchdown for Edmund Chandler. No, none for Kron defensively. How many deflections do we pick up? Four, so that gets the, the Watson mark. Ten sacks as a team. Five interceptions, two from McKiernan, two from Guys, one from Sevilla. We'll go ahead and look at the team stats real quick. Got outgained. They have uh, 274 passing yards. Negative 14 rushing yards with all the sacks. We'll take it as we uh, escape with our second victory to defend the home field for the second week in a row. That was episode number seven of the Cascade Mountaineers Dynasty. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next week as we get into the second bye week and total up some of the some of the earnings we have for this first season. See if we can't upgrade the gear of the squad. Thanks for tuning in.